may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video, make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. Hope everybody out there is having a pleasant Friday. We're close to the weekend. Kmart shoppers, one day closer. I know I need it, but tomorrow I still have to work on a Saturday. I'm still testing, still trying to get through with this arm. It's getting on my last nerves, but I'm still here, still chugging along. If you, like most of us, they got a glimpse of the, the Biden speech last night, it's very disturbing, and you wonder why April the 8th, is a reason why there's an X being put in over top of the United States. Once again, his, one of his main topics was he's going to make sure that killing babies is brought back to the United States. For those who think that there's going to be a great revival and this country is going to be forgiven, there was your answer. Right off the bat, this country is going to make sure killing babies is permanently reinstated. That's out of his mouth last night. And more support for Gaza and less support for Israel. Once again, the country has made up its mind. Like we told you, and last night he confirmed that. that. If he gets back into office, that that's what's going to happen. But people's going to say, well, no, Trump's going to win. Well, they said that last time. And mysteriously, Biden received 400,000 votes out of nowhere. And many of the big states that needed to win, they just showed up out of nowhere. And everybody said, oh, that's fine, it's fine, it's fine. That won't happen again. Yeah, good luck with that. That's all I can tell you. Because this country has already fallen. And there ain't nobody coming to fix it but Jesus. So there is your answer. Last night, all the answers about where this country's going was answered. That's why on April the 8th, there will be a reckoning. That's why this X is put on there over the top of the United States. It's letting us know that judgment is coming. God has had enough, and this country will fall. That is what's coming. There is no other way of looking at it. God's pretty much showed everybody that this is what's coming. And I'm going to give you more evidence of what we've seen is now coming to pass. Today, a new map Russia reveals for their intent of Ukraine. Lo and behold, it's the same map and the same thing that we saw years ago. You can't make this stuff up. It's the same map that I saw, same map that uh, Bonnie McCoy saw. It's all there. This is the map that we saw where the nuclear war took place. The Russia took these areas, and I, you'll see it as the thumbnail in this video. That is the exact thing that we saw years and years ago. That tells you we're right where we are. And everything we said that God has showed us is coming to pass. That World War III will be fought right over this little piece of map right here. This is what brings Armageddon pretty much up on the United States and Russia and Belarus and Ukraine. It will be bad. That's why God showed us this map years and years ago before it was ever put out today. This is the exact color that we saw that Russia tried to take all this land, and they do, that's on this map, they take this, then NATO counterstrikes them with a nuclear attack. That's what happens. That's why this map was revealed today, right before April the 8th, right before we're going into springtime. It's, I'm telling you people, it's all there. It says, Russia reveals intent for Ukraine map. Says Deputy Chairman of the Russian Federation Council, Dmitry Medvedev, the, the crazy guy, has revealed how much Ukraine will remain once Russia completes its military operation. Not much. Now, the only difference on this map that you'll see in the thumbnail is that they do take Kiev too. The Belarusians come down and take Kiev. So, Kiev, you can mark that off this map too. Russia takes all this land and then NATO will counter strike. That is what's going to happen. God's already showed it to us. 
Mark it down. It's not something that may be happen. It could happen. It will happen. 100%. He showed too many people this map that just came out today, mind you. Mine, I saw this four or five years ago. Bonnie, three years ago. You know, and that one pastor, he saw it back in 2007. Same map. Here it is. Exactly what God showed us in our dreams. The same exact map. What it looks like on here, the colors and all, is exactly what we saw. And it just came out today. Just came out today. Says the Collective West through NATO wanted to place U.S. missile defenses in Ukraine territory so these missiles would have only about five minutes flight into Moscow and to Russia's strategic nuclear silos. Russia said no. Russia pointed out that no nation can defend themselves from missiles that only have five minutes flight between launch and impact. So its positioning of U.S. missiles in Ukraine soil was simply an intolerable security threat to Russia. The West did not listen, of course. Russia tried to negotiate what they called an ironclad, legally enforced security guarantees and the collective West scoffed and threw Russia's proposal into the trash. Russia then re-proposed those security guarantees by having their proposal hand, proposal hand delivered to the White House, to NATO HQ, and to the executive addresses for each NATO member country with the additional warning that Russia could not obtain security guarantees diploma diplomatically. They would go to, so by the military and military technical mean, the West waited about 10 days before they scoffed again and radically threw the proposal in the trash again. Days later, Russia telegraphed, telephoned Ukraine President Zelensky and told him he had five hours to agree to Russia's security demands. Zelensky called both the British Home Office and the U.S. State Department, both of whom told him to ignore Russia's automatum, which led to what you're seeing today. We're sending billions of dollars into Ukraine. See, they had a chance. Russia gave them two times, but they didn't want that. They didn't want it. They are responsible for all this stuff. That's why you see the X coming over the United States on April the 8th. God's telling us what's coming. Now, two hours after the deadline passed, Russia troops crossed the border into Ukraine. So here we are slightly over two years into Ukraine, Russia conflict. The Russia is taking, pay, taken by force. The territory it needs to protect itself from U.S. and NATO missiles. Over one million troops are now dead, mostly Ukrainians. There's way, it's way more than that. That's ridiculous. They've lost probably eight or nine million people. Mostly Ukrainians, but a considerable number of Russians, too, all because the U.S. and NATO wanted to put missiles in Ukraine territory. None of this had to be. Yet here we are. Now we see the extent to which Russia will conquer to protect itself. The map is clear. See, this is pushing one into the other. This is not America. And that's what, you know, I got this off Hal Turner. See, these people think that this is a man-made thing because Hal Turner don't believe in God. Okay, a lot of these people don't. They say they do, but they clearly don't. Because this is Lucifer versus God. Okay, Lucifer is making two big players on the scene go at it. So he's doing this to get his guy. Okay, this is all this is about. All this is to get the Antichrist his power he needs once the rapture of the church. See, the church, a lot of the people don't even believe in the rapture anymore. So they don't get the full picture. That's why the rapture is so important. See, Satan knows the rapture. Even though the church don't believe in the rapture, Satan knows there's a rapture. He knows scripture. So he knows it's coming. So we're going to be pulled, and he's got to have his guy be able to come in quickly after the rapture of the church because the world's going to fall apart after the rapture. It's going to be bad. A lot of people will die on the day of the rapture. A lot of people will die. Planes will crash. Cars will crash into everything. It will be chaos upon this earth like you've never seen. Plus a worldwide earthquake that will quake the whole world at one time. Because that's all the dead rising. When the dead rise from the ground, the whole earth is going to shake. One huge earthquake all around the earth. Could you imagine that? That's what's going to happen. Most men will die of heart attacks because it's going to scare them to death. Because they didn't believe in a rapture. They didn't believe in God. They ain't going to know what's going to happen. They just think everything's ending. So many is going to have heart attacks. So it's going to be pure chaos. 
like on a level that nobody has ever seen. They'll say, I mean, it literally, they've never seen anything coming like what's coming. Nothing. Zero. But just seeing this map, I was like, oh my gosh, it's here. It is absolutely here. This is the exact map, exact color, everything I saw. This is it. It blew my mind as soon as I looked at it. It is coming to pass. This is what starts World War III. This little map right here, same colors and all, is what starts the, the first and last nuclear war. Unbelievable, it's here. So there's that. That still it just blows my mind. You're talking about seeing things before they come to pass. Boy, right there's one of them. It says, you ambassadors to unanimously, unanimously ignoring an invitation to talk to Lavrov. Uh, says the Russian Ministry of the, uh, Foreign Affairs has been invited to EU, uh, has invited EU ambassadors to speak to Foreign Minister Lavrov, but the EU ambassadors have canceled their participation. Russia says it will have terrible consequences. See, that they, they don't care. They want this war. Biden pretty much said that last night. Listen, they know the country's sinking. They know the economy's gone. They know that everything's failing, just like God told us. The economy failing, they already know it is. They know it's going to fall. So they're planning for this war to try to save them. But see, they're going to move out of the country. They're going to be protected, but they're going to leave everybody else here. But they don't realize we're leaving. Ambassadors sent to the countries are primarily responsible for being in contact with the government of their host countries to prepare meetings for political negotiations, economy, uh, economic issues, but of course, also cultural and other issues, but the most important talks are to con contact contact the governor of the host country. Ambassadors must not interfere in internal affairs of their host country, the UN Charter. The basis of international law clearly defines that in Article 2, however, this does not prevent ambassadors of the EU and other member states from interfering in Russian affairs by supporting the radical Russian opposition and making the LGBTQ propaganda which is prohibited in Russia for the sake of complete, completeness. LGBTQ is not banned or punished even in Russia. There are gay clubs there and only forbidden in Russia to propagate this. Imagine the Russian ambassador of Germany would interfere in German politics, support Reich citizens effect effectively. For example, the, to inviolate German laws would the federal government put up with or would invite the Russian ambassador to speak and demand them to refrain from doing so. That was also the Russian ministry's foreign affairs uh, wanted to tell the EU ambassadors about the host phase of the Russian presidential campaign as Russian Foreign Minister Lavrov marched as an interview two days before they planned the event. Before the meeting, they sent us a note. We decided not to go there. Can you imagine relations with diplomatic countries whose ambassadors are afraid to meet the minister of a country where they are accredited? Where was that even seen? Lavrov said the ministry has gathered a lot of material on how in EU ambassadors EU embassies in Moscow are preparing for a presidential election that, man, this article is horribly written, what mechanisms for interference they use and that any projects are created to support our non-systematic opponents, he said. Overall, these things are like meetings that are not allowed to do. In other words, to get off this horrible, horribly written article is that Russia is reaching out to try to do everything they can you know, make this go away to try to calm this thing down because they see that NATO is trying to put troops in there. France is trying to make, trying to get troops in there. They know it's coming and they truly don't want a nuclear war. But the EU has already made up their mind along with NATO that they want a nuclear war. Because see, this fits their agenda. Now, if you think about the EU and America agendas, you got these people that believe that, you know, we got to have 500 million people on the earth. Now, that's seriously, that's what NATO believes. They believe that everybody else is just mouth feeders. I mean, I've heard half these people go to the World Economic Forum College, what they call it, where they go get their degrees in politics. And most of these people, even Macron in France, has been part of that organization, which is pure out evil. They call themselves gods, and there's no such thing as God. So, 
All of them's part of that. That's why another thing you're seeing then what happens on April the 8th. This X is not just for America. It's for NATO itself. Because what they're spreading, you know that we're spending $180,000 a year for an LGBTQ, whatever you call it, to go around and tell kids around the world they need to be gay. And you think America's going to be saved? This coming out of our tax money. This government, Biden's administration's paying for that. He has them taking out our money to pay for that. Yeah. That's happening, people. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Everybody's like, oh, no, no, no. You know, America's got plenty of time. Oh, America, the land's going to be forgiven. All you've got to ask. No, it's not coming. That's why there's an X. God said it's enough. I'm done. That doesn't mean he's coming back to heal the land. It means I'm done. Judgment's coming. Doesn't mean that it's going to just go away. No, judgment is coming to America. He's had enough. Like I said, we've killed a we've killed more babies in America than all the wars ever fought on this planet combined. I don't know how he had destroyed it before. To be honest with you. I don't know why he's waited this long. I would have destroyed it a long time ago. But I'm not God. He has mercy and he's tried to give America mercy after mercy after mercy, but they spit in his face every chance they get. And now it's come back to roost. Well, we tell you, trust in the gospel before it's too late. First Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Past, present, and future, he died, was buried, and rose again on the third day according to the scripture. People, we've laid it all out for you. This map is exactly what we saw years ago that would start World War III. And now it's been released today. That tells you it's coming. God showed us this years before it happened. And now here we are. Now the choice is yours. God has given us this information so we would know when we saw this map today, well, as it was released, we would know what's coming. And we've told the masses, we've told the masses, and we've told them that this is coming. So now the choice is yours. Trust in the gospel and trust in the blood of Jesus while you can, people, because the clock is ticking. Now that this map is being released, right, right before Ramadan, and God's warned us about Ramadan, and that starts here in two days. Something's coming. Something big. They're also telling everybody in America, or the Americans in Moscow, to get out of Moscow. Something big's about to happen in Moscow. There's things happening. Big cyber attack today brought down many of the American stuff, uh, the FEMA, uh, all kinds of government websites have been taken down today. I told you, we've been having cyber attacks now for two weeks. I can't hardly even find the news on it. The press won't even touch it. They're too busy just being idiots. That's all they are. They're just, I don't even know. I mean, we just need to take that stuff off cable because it's just useless. There's nothing on there. They don't never talk about anything that's going on. They only talk about garbage. You know, and that's Satan. He has all the media. But I'm telling you, that's why most Americans will not see this coming until it's too late. The banks are crashing while the media is telling them that everything's hunky-dory. Keep on spinning, people. While the government keeps printing cash that just don't even pay the debt anymore. The interest on it doesn't even pay the debt. The country's failing. They are sitting back and laughing at all these people. They are. They're laughing at the American people. They're just laughing. Because they're gonna they made their money and they're leaving. While this country goes down in flames, they'll be fine. But literally, what you're seeing right now is the end of time. That is what's happening right now. Are you ready to pick a side? Because you're going to have to pick a side. Bottom line. you got to pick a side. Because we're that close to the end. I will get off here. Get back to work. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven.
Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.